In this video, I'm gonna to explain to you really simply how to backtest in MT4 or MetaTrader 4 like a pro. I'm gonna go through and give you a quick tutorial, talk about some of the pros and cons with backtesting, as well as talk about how to backtest like a pro to improve your strategies and how to optimize your strategies for the best current market conditions. With that being said, before we jump into the tutorial, it is important to know that backtesting is extremely important. It gives you a good idea of how a strategy is to perform over historical data. Now, there are some limitations with backtesting. Backtesting doesn't mean that just because a strategy performed well in the backtest or in history, that it's going to continue to perform well in the future. However, it is a really good idea to make sure that you backtest any trading strategy, whether it's manual or automated prior to trading it, because this will give you a good proxy of if the strategy is robust. And if the strategies performed well during kind of recent historical data, then likely there's a good chance that the strategy could perform well into the future. However, with that being said, market conditions are always changing. So it is important to constantly optimize your strategy to keep up to date with what's happening in the market, which I'm going to show you exactly how to do in this video. So first things first, I'm logged into my VPS. You can also do this if you have a PC, you can do this. I'm just gonna go ahead and open my trading terminal here. This is backtesting on MetaTrader 4, which does have some limitations in comparison to MetaTrader 5. I'll do a follow-up video on MetaTrader 5 as well, but here's how you do it in MetaTrader 4. So. First things first, if you don't see anything open, you know, you may just have it kind of look like this. So you can pull open your navigator window just like this. You can also uh, pull open your market watch, which is going to show you all of the different currency pairs right here. And then ultimately to pull up the strategy tester or the back tester, you just click this little icon right here. Now that we've got our terminal set up the way that we want it to be set up, the next thing is we need to download the history data. So I can actually come in here to tools, then go to history center, and then I could pick whatever uh, pair or whatever metal or whatever it is that I would like to back test. And I can just come in here and say, for example, I'd like to download the data for XAU USD. I can go ahead and click that and I can go ahead and click download right here. And I'll just give this a couple minutes to download. Okay, so now that I have the data downloaded here, I can go ahead and I can actually install my expert advisor or my strategy that I am going to be testing. So I'll come in here over to my navigator window and I'll see the expert advisor here and I'll just go ahead and drag it onto the chart and then I'll go ahead and I'll click OK. Okay, another thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to close out of this so that way I'm not taking any more trades here. And by the way, if this video is helpful, like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any other helpful videos. So now you're gonna come down to the strategy tester and you're going to select the expert advisor that you'd like to use, which in this case is Titan X. I'm then gonna go ahead and click the symbol that I'd like to use, which in this case is going to be spot gold. And then you can click the modeling type. So here's the difference between the different modeling types. So generally you're gonna see open prices or you're gonna see every tick or you're gonna see real tick. Now open prices is going to be the fastest to test, but it's going to be the least accurate. All it's taking to account for is each candle, it's taking into account basically only the open price. When you do every tick, it's basically creating an algorithm of that candle, which is anytime there's a movement in the price, it's going to calculate that and it's gonna to continue to run for that. So it's gonna take significantly longer, but you will actually have more accurate data. Then you may also see real ticks occasionally, depending on your broker, where real ticks is actually going to give you the exact ticks as it actually happened in history. So in this case, just for time purposes, I'm just gonna do open prices. Generally, if I wanna be really scientific and really accurate, I would use every tick or real tick. The next thing is I'm gonna use a date. So I'm just gonna test from January 1st of 2022 to February 1st of 2022, and I'm gonna leave visual mode on. You'll see what visual mode looks like in just a second. You can then go over here and choose your period that you'd like to run it on. So I'm just gonna do, say, for example, H1, and then the spread, which is going to be the current spread. So you can, you know, 
put this to a fixed amount. Say you want to put it to 10, for example, like you can see with gold, or you can just do current, which is going to pull from the market watch, whatever it is uh, closest to. The next thing you do is you come over here to expert properties, and here's where you're actually going to be able to test your idea or test your, uh, you know, your hypothesis with uh, your different settings. So. All you're gonna do is you're gonna change the value. I'll show you in a second how we can optimize, but for now, we're just going to use the value and we're not gonna worry about the start, step, and stop. So let's just say, for example, like I wanna change this pip step amount to, let's say 15, for example. So I'll just go ahead and I'll test this with 15, okay? Then I'm just gonna click okay, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click start, okay? and Essentially, what we should see here is in just a second, we should see this test starting to run, which you see it running right now. It's going really fast. So let me slow this down. So right here, I can slow it down just like this. Um, I can speed it up just like this. You know, I can make it have candles, you know, zoom in, zoom out, all the normal things that you'd want to do. And I can kind of just see how it performs here. Now I can also, you know, speed it up and make it go really fast or I could even skip to, which will try to skip to the end of the test or to the date that I put here in the skip to, uh, which will, once it can, it'll skip to this date, okay? So it looks like it went ahead and it finished the test here. Now I can see the results of my test right here by clicking on the results tab and I can see, you know, what happened, okay? You can see, you know, the, the time, you can see the order, the, the, the size of the trade, you can see, you know, all the information that you'd want to see. You can also see the graph. So how did this graph actually pan out? Well, it looks like this was a $10,000 account that started and then it actually ended up around 10,300. Now, just so you know, this dip right here, this is because at the time when the test ends, it'll close all open trades. So that's why you kind of see this uh, sharp little dip that come down here. Now, one of the things you can see is in the report tab. So here you can see, you know, your initial profit. You can see the profit factor. You can see your drawdown, the total number of trades, win loss percentage, all of this good stuff in the report tab. Now let's go ahead and let's make this a little bit more advanced to show you guys how you can actually optimize your EA or your strategy for the most uh, best settings for this time period. So for example, I can now come in here and I can click optimization and I can come to expert properties. And let's say for again, I wanted to, I want to test this pip step amount. So basically I can have a start, a step and a stop. So what does that mean? That means let's say I start with a pip step at two. Okay. And, and every EA will be different. Maybe this is your EMAs or your take profit that you're, t you're testing, but the same concept. So I start at two, let's say that I'll step every three. So that means that it'll start at two. The next will be five. It'll test, then it'll test eight, then it'll test 11, all the way up until the stop will be, let's say 21, for example. And we'll see what is the best pip step amount uh, between two and 21. Then all I'll do is I'll click okay. And then I'll go ahead and I'll start the optimization here uh, once again. Okay. So now you can come in here to optimization results and I can see it did the test, pip step two, five, eight, 11, 14, 17, you can see all of the different results that have come in here. I can see the profit factor for each one of these different variables that I've tested. And I can also see the profit that was made on the account during this time period, as well as the drawdown and drawdown percentage during this time as well. So now hopefully you understand the power of back testing and how you can use the optimizer to tune your EA. Now, obviously there's lots of different parameters with each EA that you can tune and fine tune uh, to come up with even better strategies. This back testing process is it's time intensive, but it's also extremely uh, beneficial to do. So that way you make sure that you're staying up to date with the most recent current market trends. If this video is helpful, please like subscribe and feel free to check out some of the other helpful videos on our channel right here.